Hi everybody and welcome to this episode of Beth's Best. Today we are back at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House, one of my all-time favorite DVC or Disney Vacation Club resorts. Today we are in a standard view studio. Let's do this. Your home for Disney room tours, guides, and reviews. Hit subscribe and the bell. Now, if you are a subscriber, you know how much I absolutely adore this resort. Jumbo House is just so near and dear to my heart. We, today we are in room 5582, which is a standard view deluxe studio here at Jumbo. These rooms do sleep up to four guests. They're about 355 square feet. If you're interested in a value deluxe studio, excuse me, a value studio, then they are a little bit smaller. I have a bunch of videos on those. Those are about 315 square feet. You definitely can tell the difference. I've got links to those, which I'll link above and below. Now, the deluxe studios here are gonna be exactly the same, regardless of the view type. So they have two views here. They have standard view and they have Savannah view. I will warn you that Jumbo has changed how they handle the view categories. If you haven't stayed here in a while or you've never stayed here, the official party line is that the standard views are pool view only, and I totally get it. Now, there, as an owner here at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and if you've stayed here before, you might know that there are a bunch of standard view category rooms that are actually obstructed view savannah rooms. And of course, when people book standard view, they then ask for a savannah view, right? And so I think the cast members, the frontline cast members here were just kind of inundated with everybody requesting the obstructed savanna and so they've changed how they do it and they tell you basically if you book a standard view expect to be in a pool view and what they're doing is they've got like a subcategory of savanna view that they're pixie dusting you into they're upgrading you into the obstructed savanna view it's really all still standard view they're just trying to discourage people from asking for a savanna view room if they book standard so if you book a standard view room and you get pool view that's great, it's lovely. I've seen pool view a bunch of times. It's still really nice, but you might get pixie dusted. Just don't expect it. As I mentioned before, we're in 5582, which does have an obstructed view of the Uzima Savannah, which is really nice, which I will show you at the end of the video. Okay, that's enough talking for now. Let's start with the door. Coming in, these hallways are kind of dark, but we've got the door right behind me and we do have a nice full length mirror here uh, right when you walk in or when you walk out as the case may be so it's perfect for just checking your outfit before you go making sure you have everything that you need but right off of the hallway you're going to have as we see in all the dvc units right all the, the villas certainly you're going to then have a kitchenette and a split bathroom arrangement so let's go there now Okay, we're in the kitchenette area. You're gonna notice the same granite in all of the room categories here and in both the bathroom and the kitchen area. Now, I love these little tiles in the kitchenette. They're all different. Um, each of the rooms have, has a different combination of animals. A lot of times you'll have a little baby Simba, which is just so cute. But in this room, we have a rhino and a zebra, which is great because you know, we could see a zebra from outside of our room, so it just feels a full circle, doesn't it? Uh, really, really cute. I do like the fact that because this is one of the older DVC resorts, um, you know, no offense meant, but one of the older resorts, that means that it's a, it's a bigger kitchenette area. Uh, we saw a whole uh, period of time where, like, the Polynesian, where the kitchenette area is, like, 
half the size of this. So I really do appreciate that they give you a decent amount of space here. And of course, because you're in a studio, you don't have a dishwasher. So everything is unfortunately disposable. So they give you disposable plates, disposable utensils, but you've got a nice tall hotel fridge. So plenty of space for you know leftovers or if you're getting a grocery delivery uh, or if you're picking up food down at the mercantile store, which if you're a DVC member, you probably already know that every DVC resort will have a mercantile store where they have, you know, bagels and milk and cereal and that kind of stuff so that if you are going to have some light meals in your room, you can absolutely pick that stuff up downstairs and bring it up here. You've got your full-size coffee pot, your toaster, and your microwave. So really nice, especially if you're going to be here for a long time to be able to, you know, make a snack in the room. So across the way from the kitchenette is going to be the bathroom area. We've got an open area with sinks, which I'll show you first. All right, we are in the bathroom. I love that all of the rooms here at Jumbo have double sinks. Makes getting ready in the morning so much easier, am I right? And there's no storage down here. These drawers are just, you know, facades, they're not real. There's no storage um, in these bathrooms. So I do love the fact that they give you this extra shelf so that you can, you know, put your toiletries and things up here, which is really nice to touch. These bathrooms are really dark. I mean, it's the theme, right? You're in Africa, you're in a safari tent somewhere in the middle of the bush. Um, so it really does <laughs> set the theme of the resort, but it is dark. So I do appreciate the fact that they added a makeup mirror a couple of years ago, which does light up. So it makes getting ready a little bit easier. And of course you've got, like we see at a lot of the DVC and studio villas, We've got a split bathroom with your toilet and your shower. Again, makes it easier if you've got a bunch of people who are trying to get ready at the same time. You do have another full length mirror here on the back of the door. I will warn you again, the theme of this room, not a ton of storage. There's only one hook here in the bathroom on the back of the door. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, you know, towels, things like that can be a little bit finicky if you have like four people in here which is something to be aware of, not a deal breaker. Nice big mirror here, really for the spot, for the space, excuse me, of the size of the room, the bathroom is, you know, pretty generously sized. Okay, speaking of, let's head to the rest of the room next. All right, we are now in the main living area of the studio villa. So we've got a queen size bed here, which is, you know, standard Disney bed. I do love that they give you like this tapestry motif above the bed. And of course there's a, a theme of carved wood with all of the furniture here. Again, it goes with the theme. It does feel a little bit heavy and the furniture does need a little bit of updating, but no shade. I still love this resort. It's like my favorite. <laughs> my heart lives here at Jumbo. So I also want to point out we've got these little touches in the room, right? So we've got a picture of the African continent, so like an old timey antique style picture. You've got a thermostat here on the wall. This room, like most of the studios, are lock-offs to one bedroom units. If you want to check out a one bedroom here, I have videos which I will link above and below for your convenience to check out after. But you can certainly book this as a two bedroom villa and then just have all of this space to play with. Uh, but the door is there. Now we do not have nightstands on both sides of the bed, just something to warn you about. So you can work that out with your significant other who gets which aside. I wish that they would add another nightstand over here because there is enough room for it, but for whatever reason, they just haven't. So I also want to point out that we have an armoire here. There's no closet in these rooms. You know, when you're at Saratoga or Beach Club or Boardwalk, you know, you have a closet, which is awesome to be able to like roll your luggage into and all that. There's no under the bed storage here either. So there's no like spot for your luggage under these beds. They haven't added the lifted beds yet. Hopefully they will in the next couple of years, but it's not here yet. The armoire is where your hanging space is going to be. You're also gonna have your safe, your ironing board, and your iron is gonna be in there. Your extra pillows and sheets for the couch is going to be in there as well if you've got people sleeping over there. All right, let's head to the next section.
Now we've got a pull-out couch here. If you've got three or four people in the room, I want to point out that we've also got this nice kind of woven tapestry fabric art happening. Uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge, if you've never stayed here before, if you have, you'll know exactly what I mean. It is just so transporting and immersive here. They actually have a, one of the largest collections in the world of African art and artifacts outside of the continent. So if you take the time and you know explore the resort, there's just so much to see here. And I like that they give you, obviously not authentic pieces here in the room, but they give you those kind of touches as well. So again, this does fold out. I like the fact that you also have a you know end table on that side of the couch. So if you do have people sleeping on the couch, that everybody's kind of got something place where they can put their phone, which is great. We don't have any storage in the coffee table here. It's just two stools. Uh, so you could just you know pick up and move them out of the way. Nothing too fancy. Now I want to show you the table. So speaking of storage, this is really the only storage for the room here. We've got four drawers and then we've got kind of an open cubby at the bottom for storage. So if you have four people staying here, you each only get one drawer, plan accordingly. And you've got two chairs and a small table, typical for all of the studios, right? So a nice little spot to be able to, when you're making yourself a little snack or a little breakfast, have a spot to eat it. I do like the fact that we have got another mirror here in this section of the room. So in case you need another spot to be getting ready, you can do so over here as well. We've got the 55 inch TV, which we've seen roll out on all of the properties. One of the nice things about Animal Kingdom Lodge is that they do have the, you know, the new smart TVs that they've rolled out and that, you know, when you check into your room, it's gonna say, welcome, let's say you're the Smith family, welcome Smith family, you know, and it's all themed. It's hard to describe, but it's actually really, really nice. They've got them here, and I think at the Polynesian now and Grand Floridian, so something new to check out. Now, the next section of the room is really special. It's the balcony and our obstructed savanna view, so let's go there next. All right, we are on our balcony, and with all the studios, you're gonna have two chairs, and you're gonna have a small table, perfect for having your coffee in the morning or a glass of wine in the evening, whatever you are into. And as I mentioned, we are in an obstructed savanna view room here over on Zima. So we actually have a little view of some Nayalas and some different animals. We've seen zebra, we've seen giraffe, we've seen eland cattle, we've seen Angoli cattle, we've seen Adax. I mean, it's just always so fun here to be able to uh, see how many animals you can spot while you're staying here. As I mentioned before, they are changing the view categories here. Well, as a DVC member, you'll know that Disney can't just reclassify rooms because the overall number of points at any resort is fixed value. So like I said, they're just kind of, they want you to expect if you book standard view to have pool view, which is still lovely. And if you get upgraded to an obstructed savanna view, then be grateful for that. All of the obstructed savanna views are going to be near what I call a people pen. So there are areas where if there was, God forbid, a fire at the resort and people needed to evacuate, there are kind of safe zones within the savanna where people can, can, can do that safely while they wait for the fire department to arrive and things like that. So they're just, they're not, you can still see the animals, but they're not the premium savanna view, direct savanna view, unobstructed savanna view that you would expect if you had paid the points or the cash price to go directly into it, a savanna view room. So again, we're here on Uzima. We've seen tons of animals. We did get pixie dusted. So always thrilled when that happens. Okay, let's go talk about Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. All right, let's talk about Jumbo House. Now Jumbo House and Kidani, the two of them together being sister resorts, Animal Kingdom Lodge, are really kind of an interesting uh, dynamic within the DVC member community. There are people who absolutely love them, like myself. And then there are people who are like, no, it's not for me. So those of us that love it here at Kidani and Jumbo, it's because of the theme. It is so transporting. I find it to be so relaxing. The people who don't love it so much, it's because generally of the transportation. So this is one of those deluxe resorts that is not within walking distance to a theme park. So you are in the Animal Kingdom Park area of the resort. The theme park is like 
a five minute bus or less away, super convenient, but you can't walk there, unfortunately. You'd think that you would be able to, but there are some roads and then there's backstage areas and things like that. Maybe someday they'll figure out an alternative way to get guests over there. But right now you do have to bus or drive yourself to all of the theme parks. So for members who don't like either Jamba or Kidani, that's usually what their big complaint is. It doesn't bother me because like I said, I think it's worth it. And the amenities here are really, really fabulous. So Jumbo House has some of the best dining out of any of the DVC resorts. So for quick service, you're gonna have Mara, which is downstairs by the pool. Just standard quick service, but it's got a fun theme. It's got some kind of, it's usually got different offerings than what you're gonna find at some of the other quick service locations. Just a little tip, their like pastry dessert game here at the Mara is usually on point. So if that's something that you're into, definitely make sure that you check out the dessert case while you're here. For table service restaurants, you've got Boma, which is like arguably the best buffet here on property. If you've never been to Boma for either breakfast or dinner, like you're missing out. It's really fabulous. And they have, you know, a variety of options for really adventurous eaters, you know, all the way down to the normal, you know, chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. So you can bring the whole family there and everybody will find something that they'll be into. You've also got Sanaa, which for a long time, which is at Kidani, has been thought to be like the, one of the biggest hidden gems here on Disney World property. It's less of a hidden gem these days because people keep talking about it <laughs> and finding out about it, which is fine because it's great. Everybody talks about the bread service and it is that good. You really should get it. Sanaa is a fabulous. It's located on the ground floor over at Kidani, so it's got a view of the savannah. If you're gonna head over there, I recommend doing a lunch that way you can actually see those wonderful animals here that they have on Sunset to Savannah. And then of course for Signature, like how could we forget Signature, Jico. Jico is one of the best loved Signature restaurants here on a property. It reopened not too long ago with a brand new menu and a new executive chef and it is getting rave reviews. So there's so much to do here. There's also Victoria Falls Lounge if you just want to you know, have a glass of wine or a beer. And speaking of wine, Animal Kingdom Lodge has one of the largest selections of South African wine outside the continent of Africa. So if you are into African wines, then you're definitely going to want to come over here either to just dine at Jico or to stay here because they do sell some of the wine and things at the other restaurants and in the gift shop. That's just a, a little tip for you as well. So there's tons to love here. They also both have, Kanani and Jumbo both have feature pools. So Uzima is the uh, pool here at the Jumbo house. And uh, that's what we're overlooking. And it's really, really lovely. It's got a zero depth entry. It's got a little slide. Kadani has a even bigger pool complex. And that one is more geared towards like kiddos. So like, I mean, they're both great for everybody. You're an adult and you can have a great time at the Kidani pool. And if you have kiddos, you can have a great time here at the Jumbo pool. But generally there's like a really fun kids play area over at the Kidani village pool. And as a guest of either, you can use either pool. So just something to think about there. They both also have their own fitness centers, which is a great. And then one of the great things about being at either of the resorts is that you have these fun activities, especially with the cultural representatives that they employ here at the resort. So you can do like night vision goggles to be able to see the animals on the safari. And they even have special safaris and tours that you can book that leave here from the lodge that are a lot more in depth of what you're going to do when you're in the park and just doing like Kilimanjaro safaris, the ride, that's only gonna run you like 20 minutes versus you can do like a two hour in depth savanna. Uh, ride while you're here as a tour. So there's just like tons of unique things here at both Kadani and Jumbo that I absolutely adore. Again, I love it. I've stayed in basically every room that they have here at Jumbo. And uh, if you want to see those other videos, I will link them above and below for you to check out. If you have any questions on Jumbo House or Kadani for that matter, feel free to type it in the question box below. Let me know if you've stayed here. Do you love it like me? Or are you like, nah, no, thank you. Here at Beth's Best, we focus on DVC and deluxe Disney, you know, cash room tours. So if that's your jam, if you like a Disney deluxe room, then definitely hit that subscribe button. 
hit the bell, follow along to see my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.